Hello, welcome back. Today I would like to share you my top 50 jailbreak tweaks that are compatible with iOS 12. And this is the longest video that I have ever created on the channel. Right now in 2020, not many people make a video tweaks about iOS 12. Now I would like to update this video for all of you that are using iOS 12. For the first one, you're gonna see on my home screen here, it is very clean. And there is no label and no status bar. And this is the tweak that allows you to hide all of those and make your home screen look very clean. You can install clean home screen. Now I'm gonna go to settings and you can see here, you can hide notification bed, you can hide dark background, you can even hide app names and so on. So you can see from here. Now move on to email correct. For this one, you can create a shortcut for your image so you can easily insert the image into node and for example you can insert to a message and on search so it is much faster now if you go to shortcut here you can actually add a shortcut for your image now if you click on add new so you can tie your shortcut that you like after that you can choose an image and then you can just pick the photo from the camera roll and after you have done that you can just um, i'm gonna show you on node now I'm gonna go to my node and if I type SRT it's gonna bring up an image that I have just said before and I can just hit on return then it's gonna add the image into the node and you can see here delete forever let you permanently delete the photo from your camera roll without having to send the photo into delete folder now what you need to do just hit on delete and you're gonna find the two options here and on the top you're gonna find permanently delete the photos and if you click on the top it's gonna completely delete from your photo app for the simple trick it is going to give you a clean look on side here by removing separate line from side here now across side here and if you go to sources there is no line separator between each source this amazing trick gonna allow you to quick access in some option and even some application too you can just swipe from the left at the bottom of your home screen then you're gonna find the button that pop up just like that for example i can just screenshot from here now when i select on it my phone will be screenshot and i can just um, hold on like that and go to other like this i can just pull down the notification center you can even add the option in setting now go back to setting here and then you can go to the tweaks and there are options that you can change between light mode or dark mode depend on what is your favorite now if i go to buttons i can just add a new button here then you can add the accent that you like so you can add flashlight for example i can just hit on done now if i swipe up like that it's gonna add a new option which is a flashlight that we have just um, set at the moment now you can see flashlight is enabled on my device. I can just swipe back and turn it off. App data allows you to view data inside the application all across the application on your phone. Now you can just swipe up on each application. Then it's gonna pull up like that and you can see um, the application size and, and you can even clear the cache and you can free up some storage on your device. Move on to awesome page dot. Now when you swipe across the page here, you can see the dot jump from one to another with a new animation now it is called dash now if i go back to settings there are many options that you can choose from here we have fade we have follow we have jump shuffle and so on now i have just select on fade now when i swipe here you can see the animation on dot has been changed to fade the virtual home is very important for touch id device usually when you are using the home button the more you use it, it will make your home button broke. But with your Touch ID, you can take advantage from that. So now as you can see, I, can, I have single tap action where I can just um, single tap on the Touch ID without clicking on the home button. Now I can just single tap. Now my, my device has been jumped into home screen. You can see here. So I can just simple tap on the Touch ID. And you can see we have double tap. So you can select the action that you like. So for example, I can just double tap to bring down the, to pull down the control center. I can just double tap. Now it will bring down the control center. If you want to hide some application, you can install hide your apps. Now I can just select on here. Then for example, I'm gonna hide on the app store. So let's enable it. I can just um, enable like that and this is bring my device. 
Now after my phone has been respring, you cannot find App Store from the home screen. It is completely high. Let's go to setting collab where you have here you can show more and you can just you can hide all of those in setting. You can see here I can click on show less, then it's gonna hide some of here. I can just hide this too. And instead of the full, it's gonna show only the icon so it looks really cool. And you can even just bring it back, just click on show more. Default player let you select which application that should play the music. For example, when you are play the music from control center, you, you can set some other application to play the music beside the music app. So you can just go to player here. So for example, I can just select the other application beside music. Let's say I'm gonna select on YouTube. Now every time I pull down the control center and hit on the play button, it's gonna play the music from um, YouTube. From the beginning of the video, you may have already seen the lock screen. So you can see the clock and the date here and even the weather condition. And this is the tweak called Jellyfish. You can install it with a new clock style on your lock screen. Another one on the lock screen here, it is called Complication. It's gonna add complication from the Apple Watch into your iPhone lock screen. And you can see here, there are some buttons like message, we, um, we also have the battery and we also have um, activity and so on so I can just click on that then it will bring me to message so it is much more easier than before move on to new grid switcher it's gonna add a switcher from the iPad now on your iPhone you're gonna see it has um, been changed to grid and you can see it look the same just like on the iPad this one it is called status switcher it's gonna keep the status bar even though you go to switcher and you can see on the status bar here, it is still remain on the app switcher. Kill 8 Pro allow you to kill all of the application at one. You can find the 8 button at the bottom of your iPhone screen. Now to clear all of the application, just click on that. Then all of the application will be closed from multitasking and you can see here. Carry Riser allow you to add a custom name and custom emoji into your carrier. Now you can see from my live status bar, you're gonna find the hard button because I have just changed from here. Let me know it is a simple trick that gonna tell you when someone is pick up and then it's gonna vibrate on your phone so you can um, install it so it is very useful. Let's go to quick control center where you can view um, Bluetooth device and the Wi-Fi from your control center. Now you can just hold on here. Then on Bluetooth, you can just hold on one more time. It's gonna bring up um, the Bluetooth devices and you can just close and then on Wi-Fi. You can also um, use your Wi-Fi too by hold on that. Next one, we have a tweak that gonna tell you the weather and the weather condition. You can see here we have the temperature and the weather condition. Right. One more, it is a tweak that gonna add the shortcut button to your older device. Especially for me, the Touch ID device, you're gonna find here we have the a flashlight button and we even have the camera button at the bottom of my iPhone screen. Move on to Sona 12. It is a tweak that gonna change your volume hub and you can see here we got a new appearance and you gonna see the volume is appear on the um, status bar and you can see here and you can just customize the appearance from here select the color and so on and we also have the size and position you can change the position and size one more, we have a tweak called CC Support. It's gonna add more module into Control Center and it's gonna um, allow the developer to create more module and put it into Control Center. Next one, it is an add-on for CC Support and you can install CC VPN. Now, I'm gonna go back to my Control Center. After I add it, you're gonna find VPN here. So you can enable or disable VPN from the Control Center. One more, we have Network Manager where you can just switch between 2G, 3G or LTE from your control center and make sure you have CC support installed on your device too. Now if I pull down my control center, you're gonna see um, the first one, it is called Oro Network. Now when I click on it, it's gonna change to 2G. Now when I click one more time, it's gonna switch to 3G. Then it's gonna go to LTE as you can see here. Next one, we have Power Module. For this one, it's gonna allow you to respring reboot go to set mode and lock screen and even run ui catch and so on so all of the important options are available here now for the next one it is called proximities 
Now for this one, if I pull down like that, and you can see here, and when I enable it, now if I have the device that connected to my Bluetooth, for example, if I have AirPod, if I stay away or far from it, it's gonna give me a notification and tell me whether I forgot it. So it is a good way to remind when you stay away from your AirPod. The next one, it is called AirPod. For this one, it's gonna change the pop-up appearance, especially if you have AirPod. And you can change between black, black AirPod or white AirPod. You could install this one. And if you have AirPod, it is very awesome. So you should try it now. Unfortunately, I cannot show you because I don't own the AirPod. So I'm sorry about that. The next one is called Q key, where you can customize your keyboard. So on color and on the sound. Now you can change the sound and the color on your keyboard by installing Q key. Now on QKey, you could find here we have um, sound and we have the color that you can just select. Now on Node, you can see we have got a new color on Node. So this is the tweak called Nine Node, where you can customize the background and even the text inside your Node. Now you can just go back to Setting. Now you can select the background color and you can change the thin color and the text color from here. So my touch is very useful when you want to record your screen and you want to tell your friend. So for example, I can just click on something. It's gonna show when I touch and you can see the dot here. When I touch, it's gonna show up. So it is very important and very useful when you are screen recording your phone. Usually when you receive the call with someone that you know and someone that you don't know, it's gonna show between slide to answer. But now after you install this one, it's gonna show, it's gonna always show you and you can just click on decline to, um, to end the call. Move on to exact time phone, it's gonna tell you the exact time and, and the exact date that you receive or you call to someone and you can find from the side of the phone app here. Let's go to photo manager. For this one, it is allow you to lock your photo in your photo app. So as an example here, I have just locked my camera roll. Now to unlock it, when I click on it, it's gonna ask me to confirm with my touch ID. Let's go to App Drawer, which allows you to quickly access to all of the application on your phone. Now on your home screen, you're gonna find the application called App after you have installed App Drawer. Now if you click on it, it's gonna pop up all of the application that are available on your phone. And you can just scroll or you can just go to your favorite one. And if you don't have, it doesn't show up now on, on App here. And you're gonna find all. And then you can just click on, for example, I can just go to my App Store. Let's go to HS Widgets, that is going to add widget on your iOS file. Now we can just hold on the home screen just like that. Then you can see the application is wiggle. Then you can see the Y area here. You can just click on that. Then you can um, add the widgets. Now for example, I can just add battery by click on plus here. Now after I have just add, it's gonna show up like that. And for this one, you may not see in the video because it is hidden. And for this one, it is a tweak that can give the iPhone a gesture to your older iPhone. Now, for example, if I go into the app, um, go to Reminder. Now, if I go, if I want to go back to my home screen and just fire up like that, then it gonna bring back, bring me back to my home screen. And I can just fire and can just file like this to go to control center or I can just hold to go to multitasking, it is very simple. Now if you want to see the information or Wi-Fi name or Wi-Fi password, you can install Wi-Fi password. Now when you go to this application and, and these are the Wi-Fi that I have been connected to and you can see from the first one here and at the bottom of each Wi-Fi name, you're gonna find the password so you can easily remember your password. Yes. Power app allow you to respring, reboot or run UI card or even go to safe mode. Now after you have installed it, you're gonna find the application from the home screen and you can see we have reboot, shut down, go to safe mode and so on. Now this one, we have the tweak for the lock screen where you can add weather or calendar to your lock screen. Now you're gonna find the weather here and I can just go back to my settings. Then we can go to the tweaks. Now on widgets, you can just enable one of those or you can just enable two, it is fine. And I can just enable battery right here. Then you can just respring your device to take effect. Now on your keyboard, you can just quickly add or insert your email or the name. It is much faster by the ball tap on the add here. So you can just double tap quickly. Now you can see my name. 
but you can also add an email now go back to settings then you can just click on edit and then you can just um, add your email here and then hit on return and after that you can just double tap on an add it can uh, um, add or insert your email now move on to no app bar usually on your message you cannot find the application inside um, um, above the keyboard when you type something but now after you have installed that it, it it is going to completely remove the app from there and this is the tweak that i need the most which um, allow me to play the youtube in the background mode so if you have the music playing you can just go back to your home screen and the video or the, or the music is still playing in the background now i'm gonna show you on my control center you can see here it is still playing next one we have script ball for this one it can uh, give you a whole new way to unlock your phone and usually you can use your touch id or your face id but now you can just draw to unlock now if i click on use passcode here i can just draw and if you draw it correctly it can unlock your phone and you can see here and you can just come customize your draw in settings now i'm gonna go back to change my draw here we go you can go to script ball then you can just click on change the password and it gonna ask me the current one so this is my current one then i can just add a new one by like this then you can just need to confirm one more time and one last time then it is good to go you can just unlock with a new drawing now if you want to get a clean look on your passcode screen you can install Trendlock and you can see here the passcode screen is very clean now i'm gonna show you on settings you can customize this in settings now you can go to trend lock and you can see here on passcode screen you can just hide something or you can just add a custom text now we have another amazing jailbreak fix it is going to allow you to run two apps at the same time and you can see on my ios file here so on the top we have settings and at the bottom you can choose the application that you want to run at the same time so for example i'm gonna go to calendar here now we can just click on that then it's gonna launch the calendar and then i will catch you guys in the next one and if you want to get this themes and wallpaper you can check from my video description i always include them